Great afternoon. <clears throat> Almost afternoon. Well, this morning I was watching a uh, quick video on Jared making the shell company. Where have these funds gone? What, what have they done with them? So what I got first was the cup was overflowing. They took in a lot of money. So Jared started a company. Okay, company with his family, okay? And this is prepared for a time when they're walking away, off into the sunset, onto higher things, better things. And then there's some apprehension by people looking at this, a bit agog, uh, and wondering what's going on with this money. So we're looking at how this is being painted, literally in this picture, <laughs> how is this being painted? Um, you know, they're sitting among the roots of this. We wanna look at the roots of it, where this money has come to, where this money has gone to, um, what they're trying to, again, they're trying to do it secretively. They're kind of covered over, um, trying to paint it in a certain way Okay, but up there we have the web, the web that they've tried to construct around it. And going forward, uh, you know, and we're looking at the center point and then we have the rings going out from there. So our center point is Jared and these things that he's constructing that are going forward. So going forward, we see that they're on a not very con well constructed tight rope that they've made for themselves. It's really kind of slack. It's not done well. Um, they're trying to balance on that. Things are up in the air that they're trying to juggle. Um, things that they've tried to keep hidden. Okay, but there are some keys down here. If you can look down at the bottom, bottom of the stairs, there are some keys. Okay, so there are keys, there are ways, but we need to get beyond that curtain to open that door, and they are doing an investigation into it. Okay, so, um, so we'll have to see what comes out of it. But they are looking into the Shell Company. There is an investigation um, looking for the light, looking for um, what has happened with that money. Um, I don't know how fast the investigation's going because I've got things growing under their feet. So it can't be going really quickly. I think it's been in uh, gear for some time. Okay. It's been in there for some time. So we'll have to see what comes out of it. But apparently they have paid money out to uh, Don Jr.'s girlfriend and Laura Trump was on the board. And uh, so it's, you know, really a lot of family members, Trump family members are engaged in this, okay? Um, so I'm going to leave it here, and we're going to have to look and see uh, what comes out of that. So I'm going to ask maybe today... Um, The Georgia Republicans being successful at uh, suppressing vote voting. <laughs> are they, are the Republican senators <laughs> like little kids back there? He's telling her, don't be so rambunctious. <laughs> uh, 
Are they being successful at suppressing the vote? Bondage. Bedevilment. They're still trying. They are still trying. Bedevilment. Apprehension. Mr. Max is not having it. He's telling her, you need to settle down and behave. <laughs> okay. Well, we're looking, you know, waiting for their ship to come in. Um, and they've had long lines there. They're taking action. Um, even though that they've tried this bedevilment, they've tried to... <laughs> Look at these two monkeys. <laughs> so you think she's afraid of him? Look at this. Troublemaker, I'm telling you. So anyway, they've tried to harass them. Um, but we've got the long lines of voting. You know, they're, they're not giving up. Um, in the past, they've caused this bondage. I mean, it's been really um, difficult for people. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sound like I got a cat fight behind me. But things are moving forward. Things are moving forward. Um, yeah, they're, they're taking control of it. Um, it's not moving fast, fast. Um, and there has been some apprehension, but they are moving forward. So let's see what we have going forward in the future. Okay, so what we've had, if, <laughs> come on, come on, no, you cannot have my cards, Gypsy. So what we have going forward, you know, of course, they're still encountering things that they, they don't want to see. We have the fabric of the universe kind of torn there and, and looking in at what's going on. Um, and we have the government here. Um, we have them going to the higher-ups in government, and we have the cup that's running over, though. Uh, so even though they're facing the hardship, and they have faced the hardship in the past, with, again, the bedevilment, just doing everything they can to, to make it difficult, the bondage, the um, apprehension. Um, in this case, this time, they're going to move forward, waiting for their ship to come in, basically. They're going in voting. They're standing in those long, long lines. Um, yes, they face those things, um, and they're, they're still seeing the things that they don't want to have happen. So they're taking an active part when it comes to electing the government and again, the cup is full. The cup is full, overflowing. And I think that cup overflowing are the people. The emotions are overflowing with this, <laughs> with this one in particular. So they are going to stick it out and stand there and vote. So. <laughs> hey, you two. Gypsy, you are a troublemaker. You are you are a troublemaker. How can somebody so small create such havoc? Tell me. Because you're a gremlin. Because <laughs> you're a gremlin. <laughs> anyway. Oh, mercy. 
<laughs> Nothing like trying to do readings when you've got these two back here. But at least it's not, you know, now it's more like play. Okay. Is getting better, is getting better. Um, just a while ago, she was sitting on my lap. And, hey, if you bite, you're going back down. You cannot bite. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. <laughs> She's standing up there. <laughs> Relax. Relax. Here, go sit over there with your brother. Go sit there and behave. So a while ago, she's sitting on my lap, and Mr. Max is sitting there sniffing at her and just, you know, and then he'd lift one corner of his thing, and then he'd lick her face. Then he'd sit there and he'd sniff at her again. <laughs> then he'd lick her face. <laughs> So it is getting better. He is more trying to start open up to engage and just, you know, check her out a little closer. So <laughs> welcome to my world over here. Oh, mercy. There she goes. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Um... Yeah, we'll see what else there is to read on a little later today. <laughs> Sorry about the interruptions. <laughs> it is not easy doing readings when you've got these two uh, behind you, you know, but it, <laughs> but at least it is getting better. Like I said, it'll take about a week. And, uh, oh, good girl, use her potty pad. <laughs> And then she's off and running again. But <laughs> she, <laughs> she runs and then she bounces like a lamb with all four jumping up. She's, <laughs> she's pretty funny. And Mr. Max is just doing all he can. There they go, tearing through the house. He grabs a piece of food and then she wants to chase him. <laughs> I'm going to leave these two. <laughs> oh, mercy. Never a dull moment, I'm telling you, with these two. It's definitely got a lot uh, louder since I got her. Usually it's very quiet here. And Mr. Max is next to me on the couch all day, and he's laying there just chilling, quiet. And since uh, she has come, <laughs> since Gypsy Moon has arrived, uh, it's anything other than that. Uh, one of her favorite things to do is finding paper that she can tear up. So I have got pieces of paper all over the house now. <laughs> oh my goodness that I have to go and clean up <laughs> every morning. <laughs> there they come, tearing through the house. <laughs> oh, mercy. <laughs> I'll leave this here, and I'll see you online. Love and light. <laughs>